What's up guys? Tanner 5.9 high output here. Uh, got the part that I mentioned in the previous video a little early. So without further ado, let's do part two of this video. So this is the old crossover cable. Um, basically what was happening was we were thinking it was bad and um, it was giving me a uh, high voltage out of the alternator and it blew this battery up so I had to go get new battery on this side and uh, uh, this this side was it wasn't really charging that much at all that's why on these trucks the the voltage indicator the battery temperature and a computer and everything runs off of this battery that battery is the only thing that job is is basically for the alternator to charge it but then the cable between them is very important this crossover cable if that's bad you're going to have issues the like i said in the previous video replace your batteries if you're getting pedal codes well more of the story now is that the batteries I had were bad, so in my case, they, it was the it was the batteries, but as well, because this cable would start to go bad or would develop a lot of resistance in the 120 degree summers we have here, this battery would not be seeing enough voltage because it's the only one with the sensor. So, uh, it would throw that code, but I feel it was only in, in a real uh, intermediate uh, not intermediate, intermittent um, issues. So it wasn't quite enough for this to s completely stop and overcharge that and blow it up in the summer, which is what happened last weekend. And But it's winter now. Um, I think this cable finally just said enough's enough with all the rain and the moisture we've had. There's been corrosion. So now to the cable. It's brand new. It's a factory replacement. I didn't go anything bigger because honestly I couldn't find anything bigger. And everyone locally was quoting me like three, four hundred dollars. Like they were quoting me no sheathing, just copper alone, a hundred bucks for six and a half, seven feet. Uh, I believe this one's 76 inches, um, which is so what six and a quarter feet. And as you can tell, there's there's plenty. There's plenty right here. It it, it goes down comes back up right there um, I ran that side a little shorter that way because I, I mess with my intake and stuff quite a bit so oh I gotta take the battery cable off no big deal um, but yeah there's plenty so se if you find one 76 inches is good but um, this is from Rock Auto everyone around here a car quest guy was raving about his prices he said with ends and and sheathing and and split loom which apparently is expensive i don't know why uh but everything he said to make a cable that's about that size of uh one aught or i'm sorry of zero gauge not even one aught which is what this is he wanted to quote me like 350 400 bucks so i went online and i found this this is standard brand part number A76 0F. This is from Rock Auto. It's from Rock Auto. You type in your truck. I typed in 07 Ram 2500 Cummins, you know, inline six turbo diesel, the option they have there. Uh, you put in all your stuff. It should be the same. I have an ST. This is just the base model. Um, but it should be all the same and i believe three battery cable options come up i believe there's two positive the two regular positives i'm sorry positive ground and the crossover sorry there's not three there's there's a total of three there's two grounds there's the positive that goes from here to the computer and then there's the crossover um you obviously want the longest one and this was 40 bucks so if anybody has any issues finding one, go on Rock Auto. This is now like the second, uh, second or third item that I've ordered from them that I just haven't been able to find anywhere else. It's been good. Um, the other items been good. This I started up, made sure got everything tight, clean connections, put terminal protector on there, all that. 
so far so good. I'm reading 14.8 14 um, for my charging volts. I, I tested that at the alternator as well as on my monitor. Um, so, yeah, there's there's no reason to uh, to buy the, the $400 cable. I understand if you want some custom ones, you're running something crazy or whatever. That's understandable. But I, like I said, this is this is this is one not. This is one not. You know, that's it's it's pretty damn big. Um, and it even says on there too, one aught. And I was I was a little skeptical of it at first. I said, you know, is that one aught? Or is it four gauge? Are they trying to pass it off as one aught? No, this is this is one aught. This is was the exact same size as the old one. Was the exact same size as the old one here. And you know, except for this one's really, really stiff. And I feel like that um I feel like that was part of the problem, but I mean, it, as you can tell with that other end on here, the reason I have a different end on there is because the old battery terminal on the passenger battery decided to break, and so I had to replace it with something. But if you look, I that's about as close to a factory replacement as I think you're going to get. I mean, it even it comes down to the same, even the same bend on the uh, on the the ring there. The ring terminal so i mean i i think that's probably one of the best things you can get about it like i said 45 dollars um oh and it comes with a fresh alternator cable this is the old one but i have the new one i have the new one installed right here right down there i don't know if you guys can see it but this little one sticking up here oh this is the other end um, terminal um, but yeah the the little one right here that's the alternator cable came with that so that was the crossover cable and I I'm happy with it so far uh, if there is any issues I will update you guys in the next uh, week or so um, but as far as that goes that's 40 bucks and in this economy don't spend don't spend three or four hundred bucks I understand there's the little guy but the little guy can't try to make his retirement off of one customer um, so especially when we're all the little guys out here working on our own trucks, 40 bucks, get that crossover cable. Hell, if you need to do all your battery cables, they had them all on there. I think you'd probably spend about 120 for everything. Um, uh, and they, and all the other ones came with the little accessory grounds and the, um, the, the, uh, the body grounds, the frame grounds, they all came with them, but I'm happy with this product and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.